the Tuning Fork Company makes a solid effort for a slice of the entry-level sport bike market with its YCF R3. Yamaha had its work cut out for it cause this all-important market is hotly contested by nearly every other street bike manufacturer in the world and the pressure is on to get brand loyalty instilled in the incoming riders. Engine displacement breaks the 300cc mark with 40 plus horsepower and 20 plus pounds of torque, and at only 368 pounds wet, this is plenty of power for some cheap thrills on the road. One of the things I like about the R3 is that it doesn't have that small displacement bike look so prevalent among some of the competition, and the blended features from some of the other R models tie the bike well into the family tree. A pointy front fairing leads the way with a narrow windscreen and side view mirror standoffs up top, and a scoop shape engine cowling below. The cowling almost completely covers the engine with just a tiny glimpse of the cases, and it wanes to a point from the chin fairing back for plenty of cornering clearance. There's very little rise or pullback in the bars and jockey mount foot controls, a setup that encourages an aggressive, forward-leaning riding position that leaves room for a more casual, if not completely upright, upper body position. A sharp rise behind the rider's seat to the pillion serves to cup and contain the pilot, but the vestigial P-pad and subframe that quickly tapers off to nothing leaves the passenger seated right at the edge of disaster. The taillight comes housed in the pointy rear end for a clean, angry alien look, but then the bullet turn signals ruin it by sticking off the sides of the rear mudguard, a tiny flaw in an otherwise clean and well-planned machine.